how to add your local business to Google Maps. Easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can add your local business to Google Maps. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of the times when you are starting a business and you want to establish it on the internet, you don't know where to get started. You don't know where to put your business, how to create a website, create an application, all that complicated stuff. But what I recommend for you guys is to get started with your local business and add it on Google Maps. Simply because a lot of the times when people are looking for something, they just search on Google Maps and they want easy directions to a place that can accomplish their tasks. So let's get into it and set up our own business on Google Maps. So you can see I have previously set up a couple of different businesses and I'll show you guys step by step how to get started with your own. And you can see that on Google Maps, even if you were to, you know, create your own business profile or set up your own website, you might not be able to get this much viewership. You can see this is just a sample listing. It got over 6,000 views per month and the other one got over 287 views per month. So you can see that this is a better method to set up a business rather than setting up a website because this will get you more viewership and will market your business more effectively. So to get started, all you need to do is head on over to Google Business Profile. So over here, you can simply click on Manage Now or Sign In. You can click on Sign In to sign into your Gmail address. So you're going to put in the email address or log on via the email address that you want to use to create your business listing. So whatever email that you want to use for your business correspondence, you're going to select that one over here. I have already created a couple of businesses. That's why they're showing up over here. For you, nothing will show up over here and you can simply click on new business, but I will click on add business and click on add single business and then we will begin creating our business. So for you guys, for most of you guys, this will be the home screen if you have never created a business listing on Google previously and you will simply click in your business name. So let's say that i want to create a business listing for a gift shop so let's say our gift shop is called gift history and i will simply open that up over here now after that you will enter your business category so we are a gift basket store you can enter multiple different categories as well and you can later on add more but for now we will just broadly label this as a gift business store you can also you can also, you know, customize this if you want, but I usually recommend something that is broad and generalized for the umbrella business category. And then you can later on add some more categories as you go. Now, after that, simply click on next, and then you will be able to see if you want to add location for your customers to visit like a store or your office. So we're going to add yes, and we will click on next, and then you will enter your address. So so this is the important part, wherever your business is located, wherever you are opening up shop, you just want to add that address over here. I'm going to be adding a sample address for you guys, but you're going to add the actual address that you want your business to be, wherever your business is established, wherever the physical location of your business is. So I'm just taking a sample address that I have previously used on another listing so you're just going to enter all of your basic address information and then you will see it will show you the map now when you get to this point in your business setup this is very 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 essential that this red dot you can drag and drop it with your mouse you need to really place it exactly where your business is located so let's say that my little shop my gift shop is located right over here so what i will do is i will just go on ahead move my red cursor and move it right onto the specific place where my business is located so let's say that my business is located on the back side near this side so i will place it right over here simply because google maps provides better directions according to how accurately you place the marker you can even click on the satellite version to get the satellite view of how your business where you're building or where your specific shop is so you can get the satellite view so you can really place it right on top of the building that you are located on let's say i am located over here so i can put it over here like this and then i can open up the map view to see where i have placed the marker this is super essential because a lot of the times when people can't find directions they get frustrated and they don't visit your business because of a simple little issue like not being able to accurately you know denote where the business is now after that you will simply click on next over here and then they will ask you if you provide deliveries let's say i do provide deliveries i will click on yes and then you can enter the areas that you serve
So let's say I provide deliveries for all over Ontario, Canada. So I will select that location and then you can enter your contact number. You can add a website if you have one as well, but I'm skipping that for now because this is just a sample listing. But for you guys, I would recommend that whatever phone that you have connected to the physical store location, you enter that phone number over here but if you don't want to do that you can choose to skip it but you do have to confirm with a phone number on google to uh you know get started with completion or verification of your business setup now after that you will enter your business hours so let's say we are open uh seven days a week and then you can enter when you are open let's say i am open 24 hours and you can even add lunch break so let's say that we open up shop on thursdays at 6 a.m and let's say we close shop at three and then you can click on add hours once more and then let's say after three reopen at five or 5 30 and then we close shop at 1 a.m or whatever so in this way you can add lunch breaks or any time that you close shop you can enter that over here as well but i'm just going to open this up 24 hours and click on next over here once you do that, you can choose to accept messaging directly on your Google business profile. If you want to do that, you can do that as well. But I'm going to skip that and then you will begin entering your description. So make sure to enter a short and concise description about your business. So you want to make sure that you're illustrating the service that you're providing. That is one of the best ways to get customers to, you know, go on ahead and visit you. And then simply click on next over here once you do that you can begin entering photos onto your business listing i'm going to skip that and skip your advertising credits and now you can see that your business is now on google maps it has not been verified yet you do need to complete verification to be able to see it active or live on google maps but as you can see this is how it's going to appear people can click on the direction section and this will just open up google maps and people will get a direction to your specific business as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video